In this video, we want to design home screen of Spotify mobile application. We use Figma components to unlock our power to design user interfaces super fast and quickly without wasting our time. Let's jump in and get us started. Okay, guys. So here we designed our wireframe in a previous video. If you didn't watch it, please check it out. Let's jump in and creating the frame. To start it, press F on your keyboard and choose iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I rename it to Home. And then let's zoom in here. As you can see, in the main version, we have a margin in left and right. So to doing this in our design, we use rollers in Figma. Shift R to show you these rollers. With the help of a rectangle, we can draw them very quickly. With width of 16, we want to have a 16 from left and right. Okay, just drag over from left and select this rectangle click on align right to go to the right drag and also one it snaps to the rectangle we have done our work with this rectangle so remove it from here okay guys so first of all we start from the top status bar we have here we have a clock and no wi-fi icon battery icon stuff like this for icons, we use the feather icon pack. Uh, it has a plugin in Figma. So for installing Figma plugins, so go to the figma.com. And after that, you find the community. And inside the community, you can start searching for feather. And you will see in the plugins here, we have, I have installed the feather plugin. And also one for images I have used on a splash plugin. You can install on a splash plugin right here with a single click. Super easy. Done with this tab, I close it. We need to have a background. Select this frame clicking on it. Press I on your keyboard and just click on our main image to have a dark background. Uh, to opening plugins in Figma, just hit command slash or control slash on your keyboard. So I want to type feather icons and hit enter. As you can see here, we have uh, our icons, very nice and clean minimalistic icon pack. You can use it for free. So for example, we want to find our battery. So I have the fun battery and so we can use it, double click on it. You can find it right there, super quick and easy. But for saving our time, I found them right here. We have uh, all icons there. So just select all of them, drag over them and put them right here. Select all of them, make sure they are centered together. Click on light vertical centers. Move a little bit to up press option with keyboard from top uh, again we want to have a 16 pixel and from here we want to snap this red line which is 16 from the right awesome we want to type in 45 awesome very cool you can see it's a little bit big we want to have a smaller and medium is okay for here i think and as you can see, oh, we should have a center them. You can group this one, should control G for grouping this. Hold shift on your keyboard, make sure they are centered aligned together. Tada, we have done with this. And for cleaning our layer panel, we can use frame selection to have a frame. So we call status bar. Okay, so very nice and quickly we created our status bar. 
as you can see we have a repeated patterns on our application for example we have a status bar in all of screens we have a bottom navigation that repeated over and over in our application so it's time to create a component you create owns and reuse it everywhere you want okay for example in its home screen we have a this item here that repeated over and over oh i just create a rectangle around it and so for these sections you know this playlist is, you can see here cards that we have repeated over so if we create these two components that reuse them we have done with home screen very nice so let's jump in and create them just grab this uh group Press Alt on your keyboard or Option on Mac to have a copy of it. So uh, we have an image right there. Click on this one. Uh, this for have an image. Click on press T on your keyboard to have a text. We have a title. So just write title. For now, we have a title right there. So a title is gonna be semi bold. Select whole singers and again frame selection click right on frame selection so and we are rename it to item for now okay let's have an 8 pixel from left hold option and if you select this text you will see 8 pixel great and you can remove this rectangle hold command and select this rectangle we can have a fill color for the our frame so just select this color make sure we have a white cool so that's awesome we have it and let's have a four pixel corner radius or border radius you can see our image uh, have a group let's ungroup it for now we have a, a rectangle so let's rename it to image as you can see we have a border radius that we don't want it so click on this icon in dependent corners so as you can see we have a four here and four this one should be zero okay select the frame and click on this diamond icon here to create a component or you can hold option command key to create a component super fast so it's our first component and the next one is this one so and this all stuff we have here hold option and drag it over there super fast so remove these guys here we have a, a title right there as you can see we have like to have a 16 from top and Control command D for duplicate this text and for the bottom text let's go with 12 pixels subtext here so just write subtext here let's go with 4 pixel select all of this stuff and just frame selection and just command R to rename this frame to playlist card so we have a we're gonna going to have a component awesome we have done with this so let's use our components in our actual design so for get us started we have a good morning here so we have text press t on your keyboard and i think we have a little bit bigger let's compare our good morning with the actual one i think it's a little bit bigger i use enter font forgot to say you guys i think it's a little bit bold or oh i'll put it right there and uh, let again we have a consistent spacing from the, i think 40 is good for here and let's create a, an instance so from creating an instance is super easy you can command the on keyboard or control c control v uh this work or command v see it's working so let's create it super fast drag it over again control c and control v we need a little bit space between them but actually what we need here is 
just resign this component. Add pixels minus eight, you can do minus right here, and ta-da, now we have a 16 pixel render. Again, select all of them, command D, break that down. Okay, and command D again. Very cool, we have done with this one. And let's create another one. So we have an icon here, a setting icon. So I have them I use the filter icon set and select good morning and this setting icon here. Okay, we have done with this. So we have aligned with it. We can always create a group. Let's do that or a frame. For now, we can create a group and let's we can rename good morning. And let's do this. Uh, so then hold option after that. Uh, make sure you have a uh, same spacing from the top. I think 40 is enough for here. Okay. Let's bring this component again and use this component that we have. Select all of them, have a 16 pixel, press hold and shift and select all of them. A little bit, okay, should be to the right. So this guy should move a little bit to up because uh, we need 16 is enough for here. Press shift and up arrow key to have a 40 pixels from the top. Awesome, we have done with it. We can use on a splash plugin, command slash and control slash, we can search for on a splash plugin. So, okay. So we have a on splash plugin. You can go ahead, uh, start search for music, for example, hold command on your keyboard select this image as you can see here and for some and click on this image here okay we are done with this plugin you can close it so for content you can write uh, the same thing as that you can see just rename them super fast and quickly Okay, guys, so you uh, can see a little bit crazy stuff going here. We don't want to be look like this. So again, we go to the component. I like to show a trick for you. So we want to fill up this text to the frame. Go ahead, just simply drag it over there. And we want to make sure in center, select align middle this icon here so and you should see it's correct we choose big font size not big deal 12 is much more better i think okay as you can see it is going to same thing with the previous component so let's do it with this component again so let's do drag over to the right and drag it over to the right again make sure this text is in, inside that frame so you can see it is corrected and uh, another tip is here we have a not a fully white color so you can select a color like this for the sub text let's do the rest we've done with this and as you can see we have a correct component super fast and always we can go over and change them and you can replicate your change all in a stance of that component so hope you enjoyed this video we will catch you in the next video to design another page also i've challenged you to create this kind of um, gradient here 
use paint a rectangle shape over there and add some gradient and find a gradient that work for here and also create this component here for bottom navigation you can find icons from the feather icon pack and just mm, create a component because we want to reuse it this component over and over in all the pages see you in the next video happy designing